It doesn't matter how beautiful somebody is on a subjective level, all beauty comes from within. What I do is the cherry on top of the whipped cream on top of the icing. Frankly, it is much more than skin deep. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a board-certified dermatologist, the founder of Idris Dermatology, as well as my newest little baby, Pillow Talk Derm. I grew up in Washington, D.C. My family is originally from Lebanon. My parents really proved themselves to get to where they are because we came with nothing. So it was definitely one of the main pillars that my parents raised us with, is to support yourself, make sure you can stand on your own two feet. My dad's a pediatrician, his father is a pediatrician, so it's definitely something in our blood. I decided very early on that I want to be working with people and I want to be helping people. And obviously, medicine was such, it was so ingrained in my upbringing that it was a very easy path to kind of slip into. I didn't fit the persona that, you know, was the typical, you know, New York Manhattan dermatologist. And so it was, it was challenging trying to find myself. The practice itself, I liken it to like entering into the yummiest cake you've ever eaten. <laughs> because for me, I want patients to feel like when they come here, that they are extremely comfortable. They are at home. It's, it does not look like an office. It feels like an apartment. I really wanted to get rid of that medical sort of sterility of the space and take, take it down a couple of notches so that people really do feel welcomed and part of this family. I remember I was getting so many patients coming into my office just repeating just false information about skincare or asking me about things that would make no difference to them and yet they were stressed out about it. And I realized that it was all stemming from the internet. And so um, I was complaining a lot to my nurse, who at that time got sick of me. And was like, you know what, Shireen, just go on Instagram and vent. And so literally that one story just snowballed. But I will say that we are HA free because that is important to me because I really do not think you need another skincare brand with hyaluronic acid. Genuinely thought it would last maybe two weeks, like it was a fad. And here I am four years later with over 900,000 followers. Combating skincare misinformation is so important to me and it might sound like something so, like a minutia to another person's life because the skin is the one organ that you actually see. To know that somebody is unable to help themselves because they are misguided through fear, that kills my soul. <laughs> As I grew on social, and once, you know, a couple of like fires came up within the beauty industry, and I saw how disappointed people were, and they didn't know who to trust anymore, I kind of felt hopeless too. So I was sick of the BS of the beauty industry, and I felt, okay, why don't we do something about it? And this way, I can at least control what I am putting out there, and back what I'm putting out there, and really make sure that it's real, efficacious, and not the same fluff, huff, puff that we're used to getting on the market. And so that's really the why of like Pilotong Derm. It's stemmed from frustration. It's a very direct and simplified solution to a very complex problem. And what I do on Pilotong Derm, whether it's on social, on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, is to try to simplify complex issues into nuggets that you can actually understand that and you know work for you. So the product line is an extension of that. It's a physical extension of what I've been teaching. Definitely from my routine, from my content, from my knowledge through years of studying and practice, and now in a very simple solution that you can find on your bathroom counter. My favorite thing about dermatology is honestly the confidence I see in my patients when they walk out the door not when they come in. And I think that transformation is amazing to be a part of, to witness, and to really be part of their story. And throughout the years, I've had patients now who've been with me for at least 10 years or so, and it's been amazing to watch them evolve and bloom into their own person over time. I'm very excited for what's to come because Pillow Talk Germ, now that it's its own entity, can be much bigger than just me and skincare. And a big part of the Pillow Talk Derm story is education and giving back through education. And so I'm very excited to be doing this, but we are going to be partnering with a foundation called STEM for Her, which is all about funding educational initiatives for young girls and women within displaced population. And this means a lot to me because obviously coming from where I come from and how I got to the U.S. with my family, if I'm able to really be a figure and mentor 
to young girls who don't necessarily have those role models around them and don't have access to the education around them, that's going to be amazing. And so the future is bright for Pillow Talk and it goes way beyond, you know, skin and skincare and beauty.